Okay, so how is everyone today? Yeah. Good, I hope? Yes. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like I've, I've posted a bunch of these videos to the, to the thing, to the, to the YouTube. No, no. And uh, every single time I press the thing, I always say, how is everyone today? You know, I say basically the same thing. And I've been uh, waiting for someone either to make like a like a montage, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, one hour of Dr. McCary saying, "How is everyone today?" <laughs> May, if someone doesn't make it, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> is there one? Really? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff is funny, you know, because like, uh, well, all right, uh, you know, one funny thing. I think, you know, academic people have like, you know, issues. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, one, I'm one of them, but uh, you know, like you might imagine, like uh, I wear a lot of white shirts and blue jeans. Well, that's just because my closet is literally just white shirts and then blue jeans, you know, it's like there's nothing else. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> uh, I'm told that other people var vary it every once in a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, so la last time we were talking about, uh, we had just, uh, we had brought up intervals. Oh, also I wanted to mention that uh, apparently I lost my plug to the camera. And if it runs out of, of juice, then I guess that's it for today. Well, we'll keep doing it, but the video will die. Uh, yeah. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, intervals. So we were talking about intervals, uh, and uh, uh, good. So I have a question about intervals. Uh, so if uh, so, like first question here, uh, just to re remind you, refresh you of, of things we knew. If I write three and then um, eight like that, so if I, so if I write that then that means an interval. Uh, specifically, it means some contiguous piece of the, uh, of, the, of the number line. So if you wanted to, so this is represented in interval notation. And if this is the whole number line, if that's the whole thing, then how do you visually uh, represent that interval? I, well, I don't need to plot zero. I mean, it would be okay, but it's not necessary, yeah? Okay, so uh, two dots, so I'll, and I heard you say open for three, and closed at uh, eight, okay. Now what? Yeah? Right, okay, so it's gotta be all the stuff that's in here, right? Good. Okay, and then uh, you know, expressing expressing this uh, as uh, as uh, inequalities. If we say that uh, the variable is x, then how could we write this uh, as an inequality? Very good. Less or equal h. So again, basi basically, you know, what I want you to ob observe, to, to witness, is that uh, that less than, that strictly less than, uh, vi visually manifests itself as an open circle, and in turn visually manifests itself as a parentheses. And uh, that less or equal visually manifests itself as a closed circle, a disk, and uh, as a square parentheses. All right, good. Uh, next question. So, uh, uh, whoops, two is what comes after one. Uh, so, concerning, again, this same interval. So, the interval uh, open at three, closed at eight. So, that means that three's not included. And so, now I'm going to write a question. Uh, is, that, is that interval the same as, since three's not included, I'll just, I'll just start at four then. So that so that's a I'm asking a question. Is is that true? Well, isn't isn't if three's not included, isn't four the next number? Yeah, yeah. Like what about like three point one? You know, right? 
So, uh, believe it or not, there's a, there's a great many of you, you, know, don't, you don't need to out yourself or anything, that uh, thought, yeah, of course this is true. Uh, in the end, I suspect the reason why you might think that this is true is that uh, when I say number or interval, in your mind you actually have integer. But sur surely there are, there are numbers that aren't integers, like 3.1. Now, a way to visually see this is uh, I'll draw um, two, I'll, I'll draw both of these intervals. So 3 to h, like that, and then uh, f 4 to h, that, that's this one. And now I'll draw number lines for both of them so that you can see them. So then 3 to h would look like this. Three to eight looks like looks like that, and then four to eight, you know, would look something like this. Gesundheit. And then you know, then the question becomes: those two pictures, besides the color, you know, if I if I'd use the same color both times, is that the same picture? Yeah. No, it's not the same, uh, because uh, for example. Uh, you know, uh, for for some of for some of today, I'm going to refer to stuff uh, by color. So I'll, you know that I'll call graphite and then red and then green. So notice that uh, this point is not red and it's not green. So it's neither one of them. Uh, how about how about three? Is three red? No, <laughs> it's not. It's not because it's open, right? Uh, uh, so if I move just a little bit to the right, then you know that might be something like 3.2 or something. Is 3.2 red? It is. Is it green? It is not. So, you know, there's that many numbers that you leave out if you say that that is that. Okay. Good. So, um, here's a here's a question. How about what if we take two intervals, say something like uh, something like two to uh, nine, like that. And then I write uh, that, whatever, whatever that is. And then I write, uh, um, I lost track of something. What was I saying? <laughs> I was saying something. Uh, uh, five to 28, like that. OK, so what is this thing? What is it? It starts with I. And that it ends with uh, intersection. <laughs> yeah, intersection, right, OK, good. So uh, intersection. So you know that, uh, well, the state of Texas assures me that you know what that means. Uh, but at any rate, you know on the road when you're like driving and uh, there's that bit of the road where t and two roads are crossing, you know, and then there's that bit of the road in the middle that's actually part of both roads? Yeah, what's, what's it called? <laughs> the intersection. So the, re the reason for that is that, uh, is that it, it is literally the case that that little patch there of street belongs to the one road and, and the other road. So uh, con conceptually, uh, in in intersection means and, kind of. You might say it like that. So in a Venn, Venn diagram uh, sort of view, you know, where you draw these things, If you say that this is set A and this is set B, then that uh, that little uh, thing right there, that little almond-shaped thing, or biscuit, I call it a biscuit because you know my, my, a lot of my family members do wood stuff, and when you're doing wood woodworking stuff, there's little things that look just like that called biscuits. What what <laughs> what, uh, what I don't know. What would you call that? That that almond bit, the sharp bit. An almond. Okay. So uh, at any rate, that, that thing right there, that is, uh, that's the intersection. A intersect B is, is, th is that, that thing there. That is to say that uh, the, that circle right there is the, is the set of things that are in, are in A. And uh, this other circle is a set of things that are in B. And that almond thingy is the set of all things that are in both, A and B. Then uh, you might be interested, you know, to 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 name or calculate the shape that looks like this. 
Okay, so then, uh, so you, you can kind of see it there. What's the name of that one? It starts with U. What? Union, yeah, union. So uh, how do you write it? Yeah, just like that one, except uh, flip it uh, vertically. So it looks like this. So you, again, write the A and the B and an equal, and then you write uh, the symbol like this. And that kind of looks like a U, uh, but it's not a U. It's an upside down one of those. So A intersect B, A union B. And again, you know, conceptually, conceptually intersect uh, means and. And uh, union means or. So, in a sense, what I'm what I'm asking is that concerning these intervals, concerning these intervals, I want you to uh, I want you to tell me, uh, I want you to calculate uh, what are what are the points that are in both the points that are in that interval, and in that interval. Now, some of you uh, can uh, just immediately write the answer. I can just say equal block because you sort of like you you get it already. That's terrific. You know, like hooray for you. But if you do that, you won't get any credit. Okay, so you've got to actually show how, how it can be done. And uh, the way you can do it is like this. As you can say, okay, I'll make something that looks like this. Uh, so the interval 2 to 9 and uh, the interval 5 to 28, like that. And I'll draw a number line and another number line. And uh, so what I want you to observe is that we've kind of got two lines here, so the, 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 the top one and the bottom one, and then we've got four numbers, 2, 9, uh, 5, and 28. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot all four of those numbers. It doesn't matter absolutely where they're placed, but, uh, but it does matter relatively where they're placed. So I'll explain what I mean by that. So concerning these uh, four numbers here, uh, which one is the least? Two. two. Two is the least of all, and uh, because it's that interval, I'm going to plot something on the top, and I'm going to plot it far to the left. Uh, shall I plot it uh, open or closed? closed? Closed. So I'll plot a closed two far to the left. And then now there were four numbers, but you, you, know, you can imagine that we've uh, taken two out of the running. It's gone now. There's three numbers. Of the three numbers remaining, which is the least? Five, Five is the least. So then it doesn't really matter you know, exactly where I plot it, so long as it's to the right of two. That's all that really matters. And uh, furthermore, on which line do I plot it? The bottom one. And closed. All right. Uh, good. And then now you can, like, cross five off the list. And then of the remaining numbers, which is the least? Nine. So it doesn't matter absolutely where I plot it, but what? got to be to the right of the five. So do I plot it open or closed? Open. open. And uh, for that reason, now I can say, ah, that's, that's where that uh, red one is located, like that. And then now we can cross nine off the list. And uh, of the remaining numbers, which one is least? 28. <laughs> 28. And uh, I just need to make sure to plot it to the right of uh, all the previous ones, and closed. So now that, uh, now that we've uh, drawn that, uh, remember, this means and. So, uh, so concerning uh, sw switching, switching to the color idea, I can say the following. You know, how about this point over here? That might be like, uh, that might be like 1. Okay. So then notice that uh, it's colored uh, graphite and graphite. Right? Uh, so uh, in order to be in the intersection, we have to we have to find points that are that are what that are they have to be red because that's what it means to be in that and what else they have to be green because that's what it means to be in that so uh, right there so two is red uh, is it in the intersection why not it's red ah okay so how about twenty eight twenty eight is green. Ah, it's not red. Okay, so can you see that uh, it's sort of like uh, you're just you can just sweep to the right and say, you know, where are they? When do they become red and green? Uh, 
So do 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 do. Oh, oh. can you see it? Uh, five is where it uh, five is where it begins. So I'll draw one more uh, line here, and then say ah, it uh, it uh, starts at five. Uh, should I should I uh, fill five in or not? Okay, why? Because it is red and green, so it's included. Okay, so then uh, we're red and green, and then continue. So do 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 do. Okay, something interesting is happening there. So can you see that uh, something occurs at nine? Okay. So then now uh, that means that we need to go to nine. What should I what should I do here? Open, but it's a uh, it's green. It's not red, though. All right. So that's, uh, that's the answer there. Uh, which is to say, you know, this. So what I meant when I said uh, some of you all already understand this, that's great. What I mean is that uh, without, without comment, you know, I could just, uh, I could just say, do that. And then some of you all could just say, that. Great. But uh, that, that's not sufficient <coughs> for credit. Uh, good. Any question about this? Uh, alternatively, or, or additionally, anyway, I could say, uh, all right, if this one is going to be the intersection, uh, so 2, 9, intersect 5, 28, then maybe we'll do one more, which is the union. So 2, 9, union, 5, 28. So then uh, how would we do the union, sort of like conceptually? So like th this was, when we were doing intersection, it was, it was uh, you know, sweep to the right and ask when the points become red and green. What do you mean opposite? Okay, so uh, that would be a shape. So considering these shapes, that would be a shape uh, that would mean that uh, like this one I'm talking about that, and this one I'm talking about that, but it sounds to me like the thing that you just said was a shape that would be just this part, or just that part, but not the almond bit. It sounds, it sounded to me like that's what you said. Uh, so it's not this, right? But there's a name for this, uh, but we don't really talk about it in class. So th this one is intersection and that one is union. The name for this one is, is, is called uh, exclusive or. Whatever that means. Sorry? Exclusive or. Or, no, 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 no. In, thi in this context, you would call it, uh, you would call it, um, Symmetric difference. It's neither here nor there. Doesn't matter. We don't talk about it. Uh, this is the one I want. So notably, what I want you to, what I'm trying to get you to see and say, is that when you're doing intersection, the idea is and. So red and green. When you're doing union, the idea is or. So it's red or green. So concerning these points, which ones are red? or green, or both? 2 to 28. Alternatively, if you can imagine that I'm like sh shining a flashlight down, and then the red would cast a shadow, and the green would cast a shadow, then uh, the union is uh, the combined shadow. All right. So red or green. Now, wait a minute. Am I supposed to include 9? Because nine is not included. Right, it's not there. So I should leave an open circle here? So what about 28? Should I include 28? Yes? So definitely include 2, definitely inclu include 28. But, but have an open circle at 9? No? No? Right, because remember the condition is red or green. So is it the case that 9 is red? No, 9 is not red. 
but uh, nine is green, and that's enough, right? And uh, that's that's why the visual analogy kind of helps because if I'm shining a f if I'm shining a light down, and the red would cast a shadow and the green would cast a shadow, nine wouldn't cast a shadow from the red, but it would cast a shadow from the green, right? Okay. All right. And then uh, finally, concerning this, I could ask uh, something like this. So the instruction, the instruction uh, on, on such a thing, on this, would be something like I'd give, you I'd give you just this part and I'd say something like simplify. And then the, a the, a the uh, final answer in a sense would be that, and then the work you show would be this. Uh, what if I say this? What if I say simplify? Um, simplify. Uh, uh, I don't know, 3 to 10, like that, and then union, um, union uh, 20 to 30. So I'll ask you to simplify that. Okay, and I want you to, you know, consider the situation and think about what, how, what could possibly be the correct response here. I promise I haven't made a typo. So in the interest of time, I'll, you know, again do the, the plot plotty thing. So like like this. So you carefully plot it, and then uh, you'll, you'll observe that uh, the first one looks like this. And uh, the second one, like this. Okay, and then and then uh, union means what? Me means or, right? Uh, or if you like, uh, the shadow, the combined shadow. So, you know, if if the if the sun was shining way up here, you know, and this w and this was the ground. What would the shadow look like? There's two, there's two of them, right? There's two disconnected pieces is what I mean to say. So the union would look like this. So the correct response to this uh, question is, uh, is to say what? It's already simple. It doesn't get any simpler. You know, this is analogous. This is analogous to you know what 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 if I said uh, what if I said uh, the following? What if I said something like, you know, simplify. Simplify eight. You know, they all, I think the only reasonable response would be to say something like, it, it, you know, w well, would be to like clarify like what is it could, that you could possibly mean by that, uh, or just to say it appears to me that it's already simple. Same thing here. Any questions? All right. <clears throat> uh, well, l l I want to ask though. Notice that uh, when I when when uh, we did this, right, uh, we calculated that union. Uh, the answer ended up being that interval, and so I want to write it down. Uh, you know, we, we said, you know, if, if that is equal to that plot is equal to uh, this, 2 to 28. Notice that this, this union simplified. Can you see it? This one to that one? Whereas uh, this union would not simplify? What's the distinction? Why this? Why does this? Why does this one simplify, but that one does not? Yes. They exactly. Right. Notice that uh, these red and green they overlap. That's what. Uh, 
that, that, that's how that visually you can detect if a, if a union will simplify. There's no overlap. It's already simple. All right. So now we have a, a definition. Uh, the definition is called uh, natural domain. So now, um, uh, this is an important definition in the sense that uh, ba basically, uh, ba basically every lecture from now on, we're going to use the word, we're going to use the phrase and concept natural uh, domain, like every day. So uh, given an expression, in variable x. Now, there's nothing special about the name variable x. I could just rewrite the definition and say variable y or variable t or what have you. I'm, it's just, it's an expression in any given variable, but I'm giving it a name so that uh, it's easy, it's more palatable for you. In variable x, the natural domain of that expression is the largest subset of the reals such that the expression is defined. So, like I think I probably said before, uh, you know, concerning like math and science and engineering or whatever, uh, math mathematicians are kind of like the lawyers of, the, of that group, and uh, as a result, you, you end up uh, having statements like this, you know, that only a, only a mathematician could love, you know, like legalese. So, uh, what, what could this possibly mean? So, let, let's, uh, let's d uh, do it by example. So, for example, I could say, uh, uh, what, about, what about the expression, uh, say, 8 divided by x minus 3? So that's an expression in the variable x. Uh, is, it, uh, is it possible, is it defined, to plug in x equal to 10? I mean, if you were to, if you were to do that, then the numerator would be 8. That would be 10 minus 3. Is 10 minus 3 a thing? Yeah, it's 7, right? And then is, it, is 8 over 7, is that a thing? Yeah, so, that, so that, that works. So you could plug in 10. Could you plug in 100? Yeah. Could you, how about, could you plug in negative uh, 5? Yeah, because, because uh, if that's negative 5 and then subtract 3, that'd be negative 8. That'd be 8 over negative 8, which is negative 1. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. So can, can we plug in anything whatsoever? No, there's, a, there's something that uh, would not be OK. Three would not be OK. Now, why not? We have something against threes? Right, so if, if, uh, if x is three, then the, deno then, then three, then the denominator, uh, well, then that would evaluate to 0. And there's nothing in Gesundheit, there's nothing in principle wrong with, with, with that, but the problem is that it's in a denominator, and division by zero is undefined. So the natural domain of this is x not equal to 3, which is to say anything but 3. And uh, if you wanted to write this in, uh, as a, if you wanted to draw it as a plot, you could draw it like this. You could say, well, it's, it's the whole number line the whole uh, whole thing there, except uh, we've got to we've got to delete three. So three's out. Okay, and then if you wanted to write this in interval notation, how do you write it? Okay, you write it uh, with the union thingy. Now, will this union simplify? How, ca how can you tell? 
Right, con consider that uh, there, that's the piece on the left and that's the piece on the right. Do they overlap? They don't, so that can't be simplified. All right, good. Uh, what about, what about uh, this one? Uh, find, uh, find the natural domain of, of this. What about that? So you know we could run in we could run through a few examples. You know, I could say, well, can you plug in ten? Yeah. Because it'd be seven over eight. Can you plug in uh negative five? Yeah, because it'd be negative eight over eight. Can you plug uh can you plug in three? Oh, wait a second. But but we get a zero if we do that. And zeros that's that's bad, right? Ah, only in the denominator, okay. So is it, is it permitted that uh, you should have a zero in the numerator? Yeah, of course. So like zero over eight is, is what? Zero. It's zero. So is there, any, is there any x that could cause this to blow up, to cause, you know, have a problem? No. So the natural domain is uh, all reals. You know, so uh, you could just... As a plot, you could say, well, it's, the, it's the, just the, the whole thing there. And then as an interval, how do you draw it? How do you write it in interval notation? <coughs> Very good. Negative infinity to positive infinity. All right. What about, what about uh, this one? Okay, good. Because this is square root, uh, it's, it's a radical. What's its radical number? Two. And then what's the parity of two? Even. So that means that this is an even radical. And uh, remember that, uh, you know, that the radicals have uh, parity. Uh, their, their behavior is strongly determined by their parity. Uh, and as you all said, it's not permitted that you should plug a negative value into uh, an even radical. Now, can you plug in zero? Like, what's the square root of zero? Zero. Okay, so, so zero is okay, and then any positive is okay, but negative is not okay. So the natural domain is what? It's, it's greater than three. Right. So writing it in terms of x's, like with, with uh, inequalities, you could write it like that. If you wanted to draw it as a plot, uh, you could draw it like this. You could say it's, uh, you know, just that much. So now, you know, uh, I should write a zero there. Um, you know, one way is, to, is to, to, to specify such intervals is to draw the whole number line and then, and then color in the bit that, that you meant. Another way is just to, just to only draw the bit that you meant. Okay, and then uh, how would you write this in interval notation? Zero to infinity, like that, right? Okay, what about this one? Uh, fifth root of x. All reals. But wait a second, I thought we just, you know, I thought we just had the radical boo-hoo game, right? What's the difference? It's odd, right? So you see the distinction? Okay, so the natural domain is, uh, is uh, all reals, so it's you know the whole thing. Uh, so you could write it like this. In the end, the the distinction there is uh, you know because uh, because square root uh, is even has even parity. It's an even radical. And uh, this one because this is an odd radical. Any questions so far? Yes? You mean like over here? Yeah. Ah, okay, so, so all right. Uh, I'll, <laughs> in the, in the end, uh, the answer is no. I won't. But uh, so like uh, your, the book and probably any prior experience, your instructor wrote these arrows like that. To, 
So I guess I'll write them, but uh, honestly, it uh, almost makes me uh, throw up a little bit in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> when I do that for reasons that aren't relevant. But uh, just it just bothers me. So that's my own uh, thing there. Okay, what about this one? Uh, please uh, find the natural domain of square root of 